All right, YouTube land, jumping right into box number 10 after box number nine, because I have a problem and that problem is called pack addiction. So uh, I wanna open more and I wanna see what's inside. What goodies are inside of this box? What kind of juice do we got in here? So let's open it. I hope we get lucky, you know, and I'm still chasing a foil for our jewel toys. Or any jeweled lotus because I've only pulled one. And what's this number ten, right? Uh, so those are pretty hard to get. Although I see people posting about it all the time, but yeah, they get them. So but, uh, how about you guys? Have you guys been uh, pretty lucky, or like me? Although I did when I did pull it, I pulled. I will say that I pulled two in one box. So if you guys saw my other videos. Uh, uh, that one's already posted by now, but it was a, a contender for a god box. Two jeweled lotuses and uh, two scroll racks and an opposition agent. And, you know, some other miscellaneous goodies too. Also, I'm curious if you guys have heard anything about this thing called Commander Collection Green. There's a premium and a, and a, a, a regular version and then a premium version. And it looks like this. You know, one of these here, right here. And uh, I didn't hear much about it and had no idea what was in it. And all of a sudden, it's kind of, you know, releasing. And there seemed to be a lot of good cards in there. Um, but the price is insane. Insane. I mean, if you got lucky and you jumped on early, uh, pre-ordered it with, you know, your LGSs before people really caught on, then you probably got it at a pretty good price. But right now, it looks like it's sitting at about $100 for... The regular version, uh, non-foil, for the eight cards that are in there. And it's the same eight cards in uh, every box. Just the difference is the premium is all foil. Um, and, you know, in the premium version right now, is, I've seen it between $250 and $300, which is wild, wild. But, uh, I mean, if you, you look at the values of the cards in the regular, and then, you know, add the foil multiplier to them. Some of those uh, are unique arts. Some of those are also first-time foils. So that's pretty crazy as far as price goes. Uh, if you guys have bought into it, let me know. Let me know if you guys think that it's worth it to buy those. Don Glade Regent. Um, you know, I really don't know. Sphinx of the Second Sign, First Mythic. Mythic and a First Pack, which is pretty nice. Corridor, full edged mythic. And, uh, again, I don't, I don't really know much about that set at all. So, or not the set, but you know, the cards are in there. I know they're good, obviously, they're good. But is it worth the price tag of 100 to 150 for regular? Which uh, I, I saw a video where the EV was you know, about 150 uh, for the cards, non foil. You know, you give it a, a little bit of price will come down a little bit. There, there. I guess there's staples. Price will come down a little bit, and so if you take that into account and you go down from 150, you're looking at what waiting from 120 to 130 or so. If it uh, comes down, you can't imagine it coming down too much because it is sounding like it is heavily allocated because it's also very exclusive to. Uh, WPN stores. You can only get uh, it at a WPN store because uh, that's, that is not even a three pack. So far, not doing too well in this first two packs here. Did pull a mythic, but it's not like it's, not like it's worth a lot. It doesn't add a lot of value. Uh, but yeah, the only WPN stores will get the regular versions. The premium versions only come in premium WPN stores. And again, from what I've heard, it doesn't sound like they're getting very many per store, even in the uh, regular version. But you never know. Some stores like to say that, so it sounds like they're, uh, you know, not getting very much. It's allocated, and they build the hype for and justify pricing. So what have you guys heard? I'm curious. I'm curious. It's going to be out very soon. Oh, I've been putting stuff in the wrong slot here. Sorry guys, I'm I'm old. 
and I forget things. Okay. Off to a pretty cold start in this box so far. Pretty cold start. Halfway through side A. We have pulled one with it, but again, nothing to speak of, really. A command power. I know it's a common, but does it really deserve to go in the common spot? I guess if it's not the full art foil, nobody really wants it. Nobody really cares. People will use it, but it's a common. Uh, Mythic Kamal. Oh, -ho! still got pack magic going. May have been a cold start, but I mean, you, the pools are still coming. A lot of packs to go. We got the Jewel of the Lotus in a regular border foil. Yes. All right, we pulled a second time. Pulling a Lotus. That's exciting. I don't know what to do with that card. Uh, prices on those have held and actually crept up, if you guys have been watching the prices and all. But I, I feel like inevitably they will come down. Ooh, Sakashima. That's one card that has actually gone up a little bit in price. I think it was, uh, I mean, I think, I forget what the pre-order prices were. And I believe those are probably pretty high. They did jump down to 30 or below, maybe 20, 25 range. And it is currently back up around a 40 range. Uh, that's, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. That pack, look at that. Sakashima, 4X, and Jeweled Lotus. Whew. Heating up. Heating up a little bit. It's always scary. Always scary. A lot of money on the line here. Especially when it's your own. Now these are these are sponsored sponsored packs, but they're sponsored by me. So it's my money on the line here. Every time I open one of these and uh you know you get a bad box and you get a a sour taste in your mouth. Body of knowledge, full full art. Another full art signet. Non-foil. Alright, last pack side here. But yeah, those those dual lotuses, no, those prices inevitably will come down, even though they did start taking back up because they are pretty hard to pull. Um, especially those full art versions. Inevitably, when this uh, the hype for the set dies down in within a couple of weeks, and the you know everybody's preparing for Kaldheim, spoil the season for Kaldheim, the prices will come down. It always look at Force of Will. That was huge. I mean, it's still valuable, but that came down. Inevitably, all cards do come down in price when they're new. Way through the box here. That right there is half the box, though, isn't it? And then we can still pull something big, though. We can still do it. We can still do it. Let's pull Kirk. Jared, Kamal, just three rares already, small as well. Command Tower, Magus, Foil X Piper, Master Wanderer, that's a good value. It's a great value card, and Zara. Coiling Oracle, full full art. That's a shame. That's a shame. I want something else to be uh, 
the foil full art, something worthy. Arcellos. This is just a regular rare. Vault of Champions, foil full art. See something like that. Something like that is much more worthy of being a foil full art. You don't want to waste the foil slot, you know? Not slot, sorry, but just the fact that it's foil. Of this Dreadlord. Kiss. A Silas Run. A Bell Borka. A Foyer Token. Token. Crazy looking. Valve Light. Orzav. Emoti. And Alharu. Okay, what are you hiding behind you? Alharu. A scroll rack. You're hiding some good stuff. A scroll rack. Foil. Not a full art, but hey, it's a foil. You can go right there. Timber Bell Mage, Aurora Phoenix. This box is not done yet. We still have a handful of packs to go and still delivering on the Juicy Juicy. Queen Marchesa, Aliza, Let's go, let's go, Pack Magic. Codex, Grafted, Halana. Okay, all right. Beautiful card here. Look at that. This one actually doesn't have the dull foiling to it. It's very, very good colors. All right, Radiant Sarah Angel, Archangel, Court of Greece. Let's victimize. Disc, Emoti, Yuriko, Averna. All right, running low here. Running low here on any extra magic. We only need to pull one more card to really top this box off. Guild Behemoth, Myriad Landscape, that's foil. Ghost, Tia, what's a Tia? Court of Ambition, Counterspell. Undergrowth Stadium, non foil. Tormod, Azur, not bad. Final pack, gonna come in clutch. For this box and give us some high value. Dragon Egg. Jellum Tomb. Thirst for Pack Magic. Let's go. Feast. Dargo. Gore Moldrak. A full art foil staff of domination. That's that's very nice, actually. It's nice to have in the last pack. A braid. Kill Acer Recruiter, and I think that's the end of it, boys. That's the end of it. End of the line. Best we can do here is a Sakashima. But we did get that. We got a Marth. Kark. And that's it. As usual, we're going to do a quick recap here. And... It's still a great box. Landing hits like this. Very good box. That's two. Total of four Mythics. Not bad. Better than uh, averages from the first few boxes that I had opened, which were actually one to two, if you believe that. We did get a few good hits in here. Get the staff. Undergrowth, Vault of Champions, and that was kind of it 
for the rares. We did get that Zira, the Marchesa. The Urso, I think, is okay. Sakashima. So, I did pretty well there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, one extra. I think the max you can do, I guess, is about 1 to 2. I, you probably get more than that just by odds, but that seems to have been it for me. No more than 2 maximum. Good old Arcane Signet. Nothing else to mention there. And that's it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Subscribe if you want to get notifications for when I do post the rest of the videos. All right, see you guys.